everybody. Today I'm going to review the Coil Hose Pneumatic 5-in-1 Safety Exhaust Couplers. Now these are very unique when we compare them to a standard coupler because what they allow you to do is remove or install air fittings or air tools without having to deal with that tremendous pressure that's in the line. The way it allows you to do that, it has a special collar. After you connect the two together, then you'll slide that forward. It's going to pressurize the tool or the whip hose that you're using. And then when you want to remove it, you'll just pull that back and it's going to depressurize everything. So it's going to make it a lot safer to use and you're not going to have to fight or struggle with your air fittings to get everything connected. So next let me show you some closer up views at these and then we're going to see how they actually perform. Here's a closer look at two of the quarter inch connectors side by side. You can see this has male pipe threads. This one's going to have female pipe threads depending on how you want to connect that to a hose or even a whip extension. And what we can take a look at is the fact that you'll be able to take any standard plug, which is going to be a quarter inch plug, plug it right in the end, it's going to quick connect, and then at this point it would still be depressurized. To allow pressure to go through that plug, you need to take this black collar and move it forward. That's going to pressurize everything, including your tool. Then when you're done using it, you're going to slide that back. It's going to depressurize the tool as well as the line coming out of there. And then at zero PSI, you can go ahead and pull the collar back and the plug's going to shoot right out. The reason that this is called a 5-in-1 coupler is the fact that it will work with the five major types of plugs. Now all of these are quarter inch plugs, but they have five different styles. And normally you would need five different types of couplers to connect these. So let's say you borrow your buddy's air tool and he doesn't use the same coupler as you. What's going to happen is you're going to have to really rig up something as far as some specialized adapter or even make a special whip hose in order to use that tool unless you want to remove the plug and reinstall one that will work with your system. But if you are using the 5-in-1 coupler, what's going to happen is it's going to be compatible with not only your friend's tools, but also your tools or maybe some that you rent. And I want to point out that they include the Lincoln style, a Euro style or Megaflow version, the automotive plugs, arrows, as well as industrial plugs. And what I want to show you with just a standard automatic coupler, this one is actually going to only be compatible with the industrial style. So we can see the industrial style, it will slide right in place and lock in. But when we try it with the arrow, it's not going to fit. When we try it with the automotive, it's not going to fit. If we try it with the Euro, it's not going to fit. And obviously with the Lincoln, it's not going to fit. So none of these will even be able to be used with this except for one style. But when we look at the five and one coupler, we'll start out down here with the Lincoln. We'll slide it right in place. It's going to lock in. Then we can move down to the Euro. It's going to lock in place. Automotive style couplers. It's going to lock right in place. Aero style. Also going to lock right in place. And then finally the industrial couplers it's going to lock in place. So this is truly compatible with the five different sizes and you can see that some of them do have a much better flow rate. So this one right here is the Euro style or mega flow version and that actually has the same size flow rate and opening as a 3 8 inch coupler. So if you want maximum flow rate and maximum performance out of your air tools with the lowest PSI line pressure, that's the one you want to go with. Now to give you a first hand view of installing an air fitting onto a regular coupler versus the 5-in-1 safety coupler at the end of a 50 foot air line, what I've done is connected two identical lines into this air compressor. Now the 5-in-1 safety coupler is going to be depressurized, so it's going to be 0 psi at the end of here, where at the end of this one right now is roughly 110 psi. So what we'll do is first install the air fitting on the end of the 5-in-1 coupler. You can see it's going to slide right in place because there's absolutely no air pressure pressing against it. It's locked in place and now to pressurize it we'll just pull that collar forward and if you listen you can hear it now pressurize the end of the tool. When you're done using it you'll pull that back it's going to release all the pressure now it's at zero psi we can pop that right off of there. But if we look at just a standard air fitting plugged into the exact same compressor this is the type you got to pull the collar back and then force this down in there. So we'll pull that back, force this down in here, and now it's locked in place. And you can also hear it's leaking. So even if it wasn't leaking, what we'll do at this point is go ahead and remove it because there's no way to depressurize this. 
Now many times, especially with these small fittings, like something that's going to air up your tires, if you don't hold on to it, it's going to go shooting out of there like a rocket. Now if you're using a larger air tool like this air nailer, that problem can even be amplified because many times there's a swivel fitting on the bottom of here. Now if the entire line's pressurized, pressing that swivel fitting into a pressurized line, especially when in, let's say it's at 100 or 110 PSI, can be very difficult. Many times you have to run the regulator back down to zero or close to it, connect the air tool, and then move that back up to the working pressure. Now the nice thing about this is the fact that you don't have to deal with that. The end of it is going to be zero PSI. When you press it in place, it's going to lock right in. And then when you move the collar up, it's instantly going to pressurize the tool. Now when you're done with it, because this does have additional capacity, it is going to make additional noise because what it's going to do is take all the air that's in the tool and push it back out the bottom of this fitting. So if we listen to the amount of air coming out of it this time, it's much louder than the smaller air fitting that I just showed you. But it comes right off of there with no problem and we didn't have to mess around with the regulator. So now you've seen the Coil Hose Pneumatic 5-in-1 automatic safety exhaust couplers for yourself. The two different versions that I had in this video both had quarter inch NPT threads on the input side. We had male threads as well as female threads. And most airlines and people's garages will line right up to those. You can screw them right on the end and these are going to be ready to go. Now they also carry barb fittings, 3 8 inch fittings as well as half inch fittings. So really depending on whatever size you're working with, they do make a coupler that's going to work for you. Now I also want to point out with the quarter inch version, it is a 5-in-1 coupler, meaning that it will work with all five sizes of the most popular plugs. So let's say you have a wide array of air tools. Some are older, some are brand new, and some just need extra power. No matter what size you're using, this is going to work for you, and you're not going to have to make special lead hoses or adapters to make your tools work. Now let's say you have a brand new impact and you want to get the maximum amount of power out of it. If you use that high flow Euro style, the hole in the center of that is pretty much the same as a 3 8 inch fitting. So using this coupler, because it can handle up to 38 cubic feet per minute of airflow, you're going to be able to get the maximum performance and power out of your brand new Impex. If you like this video, please click like. If you like my channel, please click subscribe. And thanks for watching.